decide whether these proposed Lewis structures are reasonable or not. So I have this is number two. So I have H bond H bond O. So that's number one. And then number two would be C L bond C bond O bond C L. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have C triple bond O like so. Okay. So say so decide whether or not these are reasonable. So we look at the first one here. And is and we're asking, is this uh, proposed Lewis structure reasonable? And in this case, no, right? And why is it no here? Well, look at hydrogen here. Focus on hydrogen. Hydrogen can uh, has a maximum of, um, can only make one bond. And as you can see, hydrogen here is making two bonds here. So there's actually a positive charge on this carbon hydrogen here, which is not stated above, which means that this Lewis structure is not reasonable. So we can say not reasonable. Oh, maybe let me do this in red actually because hydrogen is making two bonds. So not reasonable. And it says, uh, no, it has the wrong number of valence electrons. Um, no, it has the right number of valence electrons, but doesn't satisfy the octet rule. So again, this hydrogen does not satisfy um, the octet rule. Right? Again, I, I'm only allowed, um, I'm allowed um, one bond on this hydrogen and not two, right? There's no, there's valence electrons here. I have technically four valence electrons here, right? Which makes no sense. So it has the wrong number of valence electrons. So this is, um, so it basically says, uh, so therefore wrong valence electrons, uh, wrong, or let me say wrong valence E minus. And we can say the symbols here, if I, I the, the correct symbol here is actually H2O, right? And we know that oxygen, the most electric negative, negative molecule is going to go in the middle, right? And that's going to be bonded to one H here and one H here. And it's actually bent. The structure is actually bent. So let me, it actually looks something like this because the, um, the lone pairs are, are on this side here. And this one is the correct molecule here. And this is H2O, right? As we all know. So this is, uh, this is not correct. So we can say this, no, uh, it has the wrong number of valence electrons on hydrogen. So that's good. <clears throat> that's number one. Uh, let me draw a line here. Number two is asking us, okay, what about this compound here? Well, if we look at this compound here, we have, um, we have chlorine making one bond, which is good. Chlorine making one bond, which is good. Oxygen here is only making one bond, and this is not good, right? Because oxygen here and carbon here is only missing one bond, right? A carbon likes to have uh, four bonds. So in this case here, I have a negative charge on this oxygen and a positive on the carbon, right? So this is actually not good. So what I want to do instead is actually to fix this. So this, again, this is not reasonable as a structure, not reasonable. Because I have a lone pair on this on, the, on this carbon here that's not being get counted for, and this lone pair can actually bond with one of these um, one of these other uh, share electrons with one of these oxygens, right? So I can say that this here is um, this here again. Uh, I have the uh, so it's, it's, it's not reasonable. You can say um, it has it does not um, again it has the wrong number of valence electrons, right? In this case here, I have Actually, no, it has a correct number of valence electrons, but it doesn't follow the octet rule, actually. So it does not follow the octet rule in this case. Um, does not follow octet rule. Because again, I have these two hydrogen, uh, valence electrons here. And the correct structure for this guy here would be, I have Cl here, bond C here, bond Cl. And this would be a double bond, bonded O here. And this here would be, I have two lone pairs on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this would be the correct structure because again, carbon now has four bonds, which is great. And oxygen has two. So this is the correct structure here for this compound. So again, this here is also incorrect. And finally, the last one here, I have carbon triple bonded to an oxygen here. And uh, this guy here would be, it would satisfy actually this, uh, this compound here. And the reason why is that I have, again, carbon could make four bonds here, but instead it's only making three. So I'm missing, um, I'm missing one here, which is fine, but it's indicated by this lone pair here. And then oxygen here, I can make uh, a maximum of 
two, but again, it's making three, which is fine um, because it is sharing these electrons with this carbon, right? So you can say that this sharing, I'm sharing these these electrons here. So it's sharing, so you can say, therefore, it's, this is good, so yes, and it's sharing six electrons. So the six electrons on carbon and the six electrons on oxygen are sharing. So therefore, I have lone pairs here, which actually um, it actually cancels the dipole. So this here is actually a linear molecule here. So this is good, and this is simply just carbon monoxide, right? So this is a proposed structure, which is good. Um, and again, the solution does not tell us anything here. So I'm going to write here my solution. So solution, again, it's very, I don't know why the formatting is off here. So solution is incomplete. So I'm going to say here for the first molecule, one uh, each uh, not reasonable because hydrogen cannot make more than one bond, one single bond. Um, it contains the wrong number of valence electrons. Electrons should have two maximum of two, but has four in the middle H. Therefore, the correct structure is H bond O bond H, which is H2O. Water. Two. And this is also not reasonable because the lone pair on carbon or carbon would should share electrons with the lone with one one of the pairs of one of the lone pairs I'll say one of the lone pairs on oxygen to make a double one double bond C double bond O instead of C bond O it contains the wrong not it does not I'll just say it does not follow the octet rule right now follow the octet rule because um, because I have a lone pair pair by itself waiting to or I can say because I have a po because I have a positive charge positively charged carbon with a negatively charged oxygen. Therefore, the correct structure is Cl bond C bond Cl and there, or Cl bond, the correct structure is, well, or I should just say would contain a C double bond O instead Let's see, bond O here. And three here is it's reasonable, and so it's yes because uh, it's sharing uh, carbon is sharing six electrons with oxygen, therefore making a triple bond. This is the correct structure for CO, which is carbon monoxide. So the solution is incorrect because again, I don't see any solution here, but I'm gonna write my own solution as well.